Yo, what is going on you quality lot? Quality XA here today. Now, um, I'm a bit tired today, but I thought I would have to make this as a video. I don't want to be late like usual. But um, anyways, let's get right into this. So as you guys can see, he's in the tower hangar where all the ships come in. And let's get right into his stock. So come on, Zer, you beautiful man. Let's see what you've got. So you've got a legacy engram. I've got zero strange coins on this character. Um, traded them all over to my Titan. So, legacy engram for the chest. For the Kuro, you've got the emerald coil, stealth drive, and all of them rests, which are good bits. Now, onto the exotics. So, we've got the no backup plans, and we backed out a Zell. Zell? Zer? So, we've got the no backup plans for the Titan. So, shotgun kills trigger force barrier and force barriers duration is increased now if you guys are a shotgunner and like using the striker class or striker class sorry if you guys like using force barrier and force barriers duration then i would highly recommend using this beast so you've got increased intellect increased strength momentum transfer rain blows shotgun loader and machine gun loader so with shotgun loader and having shotgun kills trigger the force barrier this thing is an ultimate beast. Honestly, use this before the update rolls out about the shotguns, but this thing is going to be a monster. Um, I'd highly recommend picking these up if you guys like using the Party Crasher, the Matador, the Invective, them type of shotguns. You will absolutely love it. No backup plans. Now onto the next one, we have Skyburner's Annex. I really love the look of this helmet, but um, it's just, where do you use this? So you've got Versatile Shooter. Heavy weapon kills have a chance to create orbs. Orbs collected when your super is full have a chance to grant special ammo. Now, this could be helpful in the new update coming. Obviously, you guys know that they are actually taking the... They're making it so when you die, you lose special. So this could be helpful then. But um, obviously, you have to keep your super full for this to actually work for you and grant the special ammo. Regardless, getting heavy weapon kills will be pretty cool to create orbs, but it's more of a PvE rather than PvP exotic. So you get increased strength, increased intellect, heavy lifting, inverse shadow, and invigoration. So pretty decent perks for this as well. So not too bad, but mainly a PvE exotic, but it's not the best of the bunch. Now the Apophysis Veil. So another really good exotic this week uh, for the Warlock. So you have Private Reserves. Immediately regenerate health, melee and grenade energy upon activating your super. So, if you guys are like using the Storm Trance as a Warlock, you will absolutely love this. Because you get all of that stuff straight back. Um, if you're a Warlock, not too much. Uh, warlock using the Self Res, not too much because you get all that stuff when you spec your class out. But um, yeah, I'd highly recommend uh, this if you guys like using Storm Trance mainly. Because it is very, very awesome indeed. You've also got increased intellect, increased discipline, heavy lifting, ashes to assets, and infusion. So again, not too bad of perks. Now on to the last one. And we've got the hand cannon, the beautiful, the one, the only Hawk Moon. Now this thing, uh, once the patch comes out, this thing is just still going to be a monster. Always has been, and it's just been that hand cannon that everyone knows how to use. Everyone can use it, which is great. So, Accurized Ballistics, Field Choke, Aggressive Ballistics, Luck in a Chamber, one random bullet in the magazine causes considerable bonus damage, meaning that you can get a free, free shot, I think it is, free bullets to the head and you can kill somebody, or it might be a two shot when you get the luck in the chamber, I'm not too sure. I haven't used too many high powered uh, hand cannons, I just stick to my beautiful last word. We've also got hammer forged, quick draw, speed reload, and holding aces. Two more random bullets in the magazine deal considerable bonus damage. So yeah, I'm pretty sure it is free bullets, but um, so in total you get free bullets which have the luck in the chamber perk, which absolutely deal damage when you're hitting that headshot. Trust me. You've also got Carrion and Moonglow. Moonglow is an absolute excellent uh, ornament for this. It looks absolutely beautiful. And yeah, that's pretty much this Zer review, guys. I'd highly recommend picking up no backup plans if you guys love using shotguns as a Titan. Skyburner's Annex, if you use heavy a lot, heavy machine gun or rocket launcher in PvE, this may be useful to you. 
but to me it is not the best exotic in the game. An Apophysis Veil, like I said, if you guys are using some classes where you activate your super, you want your health, your melee and grenade regen to come back, get that. And the Hawk Moon, pick that up if you haven't already, if you do love using high powered hand cannons. It's not the best out of the bunch, but it certainly does pack a punch. And yeah, that's pretty much the video for today guys. If you did enjoy, please do leave a thumbs up. Let's try and smash 30 likes on this video, as well as subscribing if you guys are new around here for the latest and greatest Destiny content. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one.